So, hi guys, I'm back again, <laughs> and I haven't even changed yet, and I'm not going to change because, uh, sorry, because I'm about to, um, I'll be going for another ride, just another couple of hours with my friends, but it's ironic that I just, just did a video, right, recorded a video on perfection, and then I was on the bike home, on ride home, I was annoyed at myself that that video wasn't perfect, <laughs> and it's so funny and it's ridiculous, <laughs> Anyway, I think I was slightly undercarbed, so I got home, I smashed one of these, and this is my second one, so I was definitely hungry, it's like almost 3 p.m. right now. So yeah, carbs are important, <laughs> but what I wanted to say in that previous video is that don't be afraid to be real, like we're human, we're complex beings, we have, we do things wrong, we like don't know what to do sometimes. We make mistakes, we say the wrong thing at the wrong time, we sometimes we just, you know, give the wrong idea and then we feel really shit about it because we're like, oh my god, I can't believe like this is what I thought, I can't believe this is what I did. And it's frustrating and it's I agree with it, you it's like it's a very annoying. But it's okay. It's okay to be not perfect. It's okay to be real. You don't have to be one of those like Duran Ryder says, what is it, the basic handbag wearing bitches <laughs> where you just like kind of saying oh my life is so perfect look at my pretty perfect photos with like billion of filters and increased color you don't have to do that you don't have to always pretend to be that perfect person which doesn't you know just you know like when when you can be real, where you can have real emotions, where you can feel frustration, irritation, you can feel happiness, you can feel just a whole lot of different things. You don't always have to be perfect. You don't need to be afraid to show those emotions to everyone. And it's okay not to know everything. It's okay not to be good at everything, right? And be good at some things that you wish you were good at. But an important thing is, is that you figure out what is it that you value, what are your values, what are your, what are your beliefs, and what you wish you were good at. And then you got to work towards it every single day. If, for example, I'll give an example with cycling, right? Like if you're going up a mountain and you're like, oh my God, like, okay, all right, right there, that, 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 that thing right there, Mount Kutha. Yes, you can someone see it. It's just, yeah. Anyway, first time I went up it, I stopped three times. And it's ridiculous. It's not even that high of a like, hill, not that high of a mountain. But I stopped three times. And I was so irritated at myself. I was feeling anxious. I was beating myself up. And the thing is, I couldn't relax. But when you're going up a mountain, you need to be relaxed. You need to allow yourself to breathe and have really deep breaths. You need to have enough energy. You need to have enough water. You need to just be really pacing yourself and not just like trying to go as fast as possible and then freaking wearing yourself out like third way in. And I didn't, I didn't know these things. And I was trying, and the person I was with, the first time I went up at, he would keep on telling me just like, just relax and like, you know, keep breathing. But I couldn't because I saw that he was fitter than me and he was going up it faster than me and it was irritating me and it was making me so angry at myself and it, it was just like, it was making my throat close up and then I couldn't take breaths and it was just really frustrating and annoying. But now I went up and down it like just a few times just before, three, three times. And I have my friend coming over in a couple of hours and we're gonna go up and down it again. And eventually I want to Everest up and down that mountain. But the thing is, the first time I went up it without stopping, I felt amazing. And it kind of made me reflect back to that time where I couldn't just climb up it. I had to stop three times going up this teeny little hill and how angry and annoyed I was at myself for not doing it as good as I should have. And I guess for me, my fitness, I value my fitness, I value my health. And for me, it was really frustrating that I wasn't on that level that I wish I wanted myself to be at. And what you do, you need to just carry on working at it. And you know, it's been like a few months and I haven't done it. And then the other week, I was just like, let's just try it out. I've been exercising heaps. I've been spending lots of time on my bike. I've been riding all these different hills. Maybe, maybe now I will be able to go up it without actually stopping. And I did. And it was great and amazing. 
but at the same time I was like good I expected that give me more so now I'm like let's go up and down it 10 times in a day and when I don't get it I'm like feeling annoyed and frustrated at myself and it's like this crazy vicious cycle <laughs> you're just like oh my god when do I win and you you should like be having fun whatever you're doing every single day and you should be grateful that your body and your mind allows you to do the things that you're doing every single day because I don't know a year ago or two years ago you were not here you were you couldn't do these things I couldn't go up a freaking mountain on a bike two years ago but now I can and it's great and it's amazing and you should be grateful for everything you're given that very day and everything you're capable of doing that very day and if you're not winning if you're not doing something exactly the way you imagined it and dreamed up in your head meditate on it and work towards it keep working towards it if it's something that you value if you something if it's something that you believe you need to have in your life keep working towards you know if you got shit wrong today okay tomorrow's another day try again if you can't do it tomorrow do it a week later it's fine it's life is about learning life is an adventure it's not a destination just like you know going up a mountain yes you want to go up at the very top of the mountain but if you're not fit enough or your fitness level is not at it you can't just like shoot up it because you're going to get worn out and if you're not fit enough you'll end up freaking getting losing all your energy and wearing yourself out in the first you know quarter of it or third way up and then you'll start being annoyed at yourself for not doing it as good as in your mind you should so it is better to just kind of understand that if you're consistent if you're steady and you allow yourself work towards that goal slowly maybe not all in one go not just like bolting up to the end without enjoying the journey you might not get as far I hope that made sense what I just said but basically what I mean is that enjoy the journey have fun during it have fun with the struggles with the issues with the problems you have on the way because without them you're not gonna learn how to do these things properly you're not gonna figure out what issues you have like it's that problem solving I think and that's why I like it because I'm an engineer is that like oh and it also my struggle is that I'm freaking not patient enough <laughs> sometimes I just really need to chill out <laughs> but the thing is um, when you have your goals and when you have your dreams and when you have those things that you value but you feel like they're not in your life just yet you need to do something towards them every single day just a little bit just a little tiny bit like whether it is eating more raw meals making sure that everything you eat or 95 percent of everything you eat is from whole plant-based foods i don't know if you want to know more make sure that you read 15 minutes before you go to bed every single day just do a little bit of reading and then over a month you're gonna finish like that book that you're reading and you'll know more and just you know just those little steps and it can be something that is helping you to go to get towards your goal as well right so it's good keep trying on things which are important to you and ditch the things that you think are not worth it that are not worthwhile you're not getting value from like going to town and getting freaking wasted because it's a waste of time and it's a waste of money it's a waste of your health you're not getting sleep you can you're pretending to have fun you know what you're freaking drunk you don't even know if you're having fun or not it's a pretend fun so it's freaking useless stop doing it <laughs> all right this is getting a very long video <laughs> it's a very long rant but as i said before life is an adventure so even if you do win or you don't win every single day make sure you have fun on it thanks for watching don't be afraid to be real don't be afraid to be yourself the complicated crazy person that you are human being with thousands of emotions happening and going through your mind when they are be real be honest and if people 
are worthy to keep them in your life. They'll stick around. And if not, you'll go find someone else. Remember to just do something every day towards your goal. That's number two. Figure out what that goal is and <laughs> teach things that are not important to you. Yeah. Life is an adventure. It's not the destination. So enjoy it and have fun.